You gotta love all your favourite shows, right here on Seven. From the studios of Seven Perth, Susanna Carr. Good evening. For the first time, Molly Meldrum has spoken publicly about his horrific fall at home and how it's changed his life. The music guru talked exclusively to Seven News, revealing how overwhelming support from others has helped him. Molly, welcome back. Thanks, Jane. How are you doing? Really good. I mean, like, uh, it's been uh, a bit of a, a gruelling thing going to rehab all the time. And the worry is the ums and ahs are gone. Oh, they're, really? They're gone, you know? You were renowned for your ums and ahs. I know. And if I lose that in the hat, I'm gone. <laughs> totally gone. <laughs> A lot has changed since the December accident that nearly claimed Molly's life. I'm proud I haven't had a, a drink for, uh, for about nearly five months now and have no desire I want it back, you know. Um, so you've sworn off the grog? Absolutely. And I've got to admit it, before I had this injury, you know, I partied all the time, going to, you know, to clubs. Basically, I just drank too much. I really drank too much. You what know? about on the day of the fall? Uh, I had a couple that day, uh, earlier on. Molly was found next to his swimming pool by his gardener, Joe. I was up, I raced up there, went up to that, the, it's got a roof, it was raining, and then I slipped and went kabang and hit that sphinx there. That actually sort of at least cushioned some of the fall, I think. Now, Molly, what do you remember about that day? I remember banging my head, I went, oh my God, you know, and then I apparently just passed out. It, um, it was looking very dicey. In fact, at one stage, even Joe thought that maybe um, he'd lost me, you know? The next thing Molly remembers is waking up at the Epworth Rehabilitation Centre more than a month later. When you were in the brain injury ward mm. and you looked around oh. at the other patients... It is, it is heartbreaking. It really is. Uh, and I became great friends with a lot of the patients in there. And... Uh, thankfully, most of them are on a great recovery, you know. And in his darkest days, Molly's my famous God, friends Angel didn't forget him. Brother. Messages of support this flooding in from around the world. It's been overwhelming. It's been so overwhelming that it's, um, it almost scared me at times, you know. Absolutely. Last weekend, Molly watched from home as he was inducted into the TV Week Hall of Fame He's at the Logies. I look up and there's Danny handing me the award. And she'd popped around straight after, the, after they'd done it. And Michael, you know? And I thought it was, it was becoming surreal then for me, you know? Molly's recovery isn't over yet, but he's focusing on the future. I cannot wait to go to the footy. I know it sounds tragic, but, um, yeah, I just can't wait to go to the footy. And just be a normal person, scarf, whatever I wear, and just cheer on, you know? Molly, thank you for your time today. We wish you all the best. OK, thanks. thanks. And make sure you watch Today Tonight where Molly reveals much more, including how he escaped from hospital. You've got to love all your favourite shows right here on 7.